agricultural practices are consistently evolving and Africa is seeking ways of improving agricultural output to suit local and foreign demand. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, like all higher education institutions in Ghana, aims at solving societal problems. Eventually, there was a need for the College of Agriculture and Renewable Natural Resources to set up the Department of Economics, Agribusiness and Extension. This unique and complete department aims at producing graduates who are equipped with complete knowledge on how to assist farmers from the pre-production, production as well as post-production phases. All with the aim of getting Ghanaian produce on the foreign market under fair pricing. Most of the students from this department become entrepreneurs who elevate Ghana on the foreign market. The undergraduate uh, requirement for BSc Agriculture is the same, I mean within the faculty because it's a composite program. But we also run a BSc in Agribusiness, okay, where I mean the requirements basically we uh, we enroll students who have background in, in business. We also enroll students who have background in science. The employability rate is high. For instance, we have students who have finished agricultural economics, even at the BSc level, who have been employed by, by uh, financial institutions like banks. Okay? And then for agribusiness, we, 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 we have students who, who, I mean, who join both uh, um, government institutions and then also private institutions. Okay, I mean, for instance, we have students who are working uh, in, in in private institutions like Blue Skies and, and, and the rest, where they produce all these uh, agri business products. And then also, apart from that, we have students who have also joined international organizations and non uh, 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 non governmental organizations. So the employability rate is really high. What we have been doing is that we normally have seminars and we invite them, I mean, to come and give their experiences. The alumni of the department, normally what we do is to invite them, I mean, when we have seminars, we run seminars for, I mean, for students here. So we invite them and then they come and share their experiences with us. And then also sometimes when we are doing fundraising, they also come and then contribute. I mean, for, I mean uh, they come and contribute to the success of most of the programs that we are doing. Yeah, the yearly research output of this department is very high uh, because we undertake a lot of research, both in agriculture, economics, agribusiness, and extension. And uh, averagely, I can say that we produce about, say, 30 refugee uh, 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 papers, okay, in high impact factor journal every year. The success series is that. Um, some of our journals, you know, if you, you are able to uh, um, uh, publish in these high impact factor journals, then the international community gets to know you. So this has attracted some funding where we have collaborated with uh, um, I mean, a, a very high impact, um, uh, we have collaborated with universities outside, okay, in the US, in the UK, where our students have benefited, I mean, from these uh, uh, thing that we have done. The department has effectively collaborated with the industry. In fact, that is one of our aim, okay, for bringing in this agribusiness uh, uh, program on board. So what we are trying to do right now is to inculcate the spirit of entrepreneurship, okay, into our students, okay, so that this kind of uh, unemployment gap that we have in the system, I mean, can be bridged. So what we do is that we send our students okay, on internships, okay, I mean to well-noted uh, private firms. And then also we also send them on vacation training. And then as I said earlier, when we are organizing seminars, okay, we, we bring the chief executives okay, to meet our undergraduate students and then postgraduate students and then they share experiences with our, our students here. So the link, I mean, with our department, with the industry is very, very strong. The main uh, 
um, uh, institutions that we collaborate with come, are, are both internal or local and then uh, uh, international. And um, internally, I mean, this department, uh, because now, I mean, the focus of the university now is to do some kind of interdisciplinary approach of uh, uh, doing our research. So we have collaborated with other departments like crops and then soil science departments, animal science department, horticulture department. And when it comes to other, depart um, um, other universities in Ghana, we have also collaborated with universities, uh, 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 University of Ghana and the University of uh, uh, um, uh, this, uh, 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 Development Studies. We have also done that with them. And then we also serve as external assessors, I mean, to these universities, okay, for their uh, master's program and then PED programs, okay. And then also, they also, I mean, in turn, also serve as an external assessor to most of the, uh, uh, the students that we train here. And then, for international, we have a collaborative research with a, um, a lot of universities in Germany, in Netherlands, in the UK, and then in South Africa, and in Denmark, where, I mean, for instance, some of our uh, 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 teaching staff here, I mean, have been trained there. And then also we are able to get scholarship also for our students, I mean, who go there, I mean, to be trained, I mean, for their masters and then PED. For instance, there is one uh, program that we have, which was called a uh, mobility uh, scholarship, where we send master students, about three of them, to South Africa, okay, I mean, to complete their masters there, okay. And then also, I mean I, I mean, I in particular, I've been collaborating with some professors in Germany where I send PhD students there. Okay, so I mean the collaborative thing for the international level is also very strong. Students are really engaged in this because, I mean not basically not on the undergraduate but on the postgraduate level, I mean students have been benefiting from all these uh, projects and then uh, uh, the teamwork that we have been having with these uh, universities. Let me point out that um, for, uh, um, in the undergraduate level, I mean, this department happens to have the largest number of students for the agribusiness program. So, I mean, I mean, the average or the enrollment keeps on increasing year after year. So what we decided was that it will be appropriate for us to also link with the industry. There are a whole lot of people who are in the industry who also want to come and have their, I mean, their uh, degrees. So we, I mean, just last year, I mean, we had uh, the agribusiness management program, I mean, the MPhil or, or the, uh, the MSc uh, uh, degree on the IDL platform where we enroll more than 35 uh, 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 students. ICT has been integrated into our teaching and uh, learning process in diverse form. I mean, for instance, currently we, we teach our students using PowerPoint uh, presentations and then also we also give them practical training on how to present their seminars using PowerPoints okay, and the rest. And then in terms of extension services, okay, we teach our students how to design practical training materials and then manuals okay on computer my advice to students i mean prospective students who want to join our department is that uh, coming here and then study with us i mean their future is bright because uh, when they are able to go through their training here the skills that they have acquired they, they have opportunities of joining uh, other financial institutions. They also have opportunities in joining both governmental and then non-governmental uh, organizations. Okay, and then also they, are, they can also join international organizations. Okay, so in terms of agribusiness, for instance, they can join uh, most of these uh, 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 private uh, companies that are springing up, I mean, uh, lately. Then also, I mean, our focus right now is to inculcate in our in our students the spirit of uh, entrepreneurship so we are training our students in such a way that when you finish school it's like you don't have to depend on the government to employ you but rather you can start up 
your own small businesses. So these are areas that we are trying to encourage our students that when they come, they have this opportunity. There is, there is, a, uh, I mean, there is an opportunity for students to have their own private businesses if they intend to do that I mean, after uh, finishing school.